Thank you again for joining. I am Nazmul, your host for the day. We will be starting the webinar now. For today's webinar, Rakibul is here with us as the speaker. Now, without further ado, let's jump into the webinar. If you have any question during the webinar, feel free to ask in the Zoom chat. We will be answering in the QA part of the webinar. Rakib, please take the limelight. Okay, thank you. Hello everyone, this is Rakibul, software engineer at AppScore. Today, we are going to talk about PostgreSQL connection pooling in Kubernetes using QDB PG Launcher. So let's see the table of contents. Today, we're going to talk about database connection pooling and why it is useful in PostgreSQL and what is PG Launcher. And then we'll talk about QDB PG Launcher and its features. And then we will dive into the demo. So what is database connection pooling? Database connection pooling is a way to reduce the cost of opening and closing connections by maintaining a pool of open connections that can be passed from database operation to database operation as needed. This way we are spared the expense of having to open and close a brand new connections for each operations the database is asked to perform. So why to use connection pooling with PostgreSQL? As you can see, the PostgreSQL server architecture, it has a rather heavyweight connection handling architecture. For each incoming connection, the Postmaster or the Postgres daemon forks out a new backend process to handle it. Uh, while this design uh, provides better stability and isolation, uh, it does not uh, make it particularly efficient at short-lived handling connections. A new Postgres client connection involves TCP setup, process creation, and backend initialization, uh, all of which are costly in terms of latency and system resources. So this, of course, is only a problem if connections are created too often and discarded without reuse. Uh, suppose uh, there is a cluster of web nodes running applications they need to connect the databases per page load or imagine uh, batch jobs that rapidly make a bunch of connections uh, in quick succession. Uh, employing connection pooling in such scenarios can drastically um, reduce the load of uh, load on your PostgreSQL server and, and uh, you know, dramatically improve the query latencies. Uh, with, Connection pooling, the clients connect to a proxy server, uh, which maintains a set of direct connection to the real PostgreSQL server. Typically, uh, the clients do not uh, realize that they are connected to a proxy server rather than the actual server. Uh, the proxy uh, may run on the same node as the client or maybe on the different nodes. So what is PG Monster? Uh, PGMonster is an open, open source, lightweight, single binary connection pooler for PostgreSQL. Uh, it can pool connections to one or more databases, uh, possibly different servers or, uh, and serve clients over TCP and Unix domain sockets. Uh, PGMonster maintains a pool of connections for each unique user database pair. Uh, it's typically uh, configured to hand out one of these connections to a new incoming client connection and return it back into the pool when the, when the client disconnects. So, um, uh, you can configure PG Monster to pool more aggressively so that it can pick up and return the connection to the pool at transaction or statement boundaries uh, rather than connection boundaries. Uh, there, there, are, uh, there are some potentially undesirable con consequences to those, however. So uh, in this uh, new release, uh, we have brought the latest uh, PG Monster configuration in Kubernetes. QDB uh, operator now comes uh, bundled with PG Monster CRD to handle, handle connection pooling with connection uh, with, um, to, hand, to handle connection pooling. Uh, with connection pooling, uh, clients uh, connect to a proxy server, which maintains a pool of direct connection to the to other real PostgreSQL server. Uh, PG also CRD can handle uh, multiple local or remote PostgreSQL server connections across multiple users using PG Bouncer connection pooling mechanism. Okay. Um, 
in this uh, new release uh, uh, we are bringing these features uh, you can uh, uh, do clustering for pg monsters you can also use multiple pg monster versions and custom pooling configurations uh, we are providing custom docker images uh, also we are providing prometheus monitoring uh, you can also configure tls for both client and server and use app binding to connect with other proxy SQL server If you, if you want to know more about KubeDB, uh, you can visit our sites, uh, kubedb.com. Uh, I have already installed KubeDB uh, using this Helm command. So now let's dive into the demo. At first, I'm going to show you uh, PG Monster clustering. Uh, for this, I have uh, used this YAML for Postgres server. And as you can see, the name of the server is dbpg, which is running in the DB namespace. Uh, and the Postgres version is 13.2 and it has a replica of three and the termination policy here is wipe out and for the pg monster server uh, I've used this YAML the name of the pg monster is uh, pg monster server uh, which will be running in pg uh, namespace and we are using the latest version here 1.17.0 and it has three replicas uh, and uh, as you can see in the database, uh, we are referring the database name with an alias testdb and the uh, database name test. And here uh, we are referring the server here, the name is dbpg, uh, which, which, which is running in db namespace. Uh, and in the connection pool uh, here, uh, we are uh, giving the configuration uh, for connection pool. Um, uh, here, as you can see, we're defining the port, default pool size, and pool mode, mean pool size, uh, etc. Uh, uh, you can uh, find it in the PG Vons uh, site. Uh, and here, as you can see, in the admin user, I'm adding an admin named Rakip. And here, is, uh, here as you can see, the user list, uh, secret ref, I am giving a secret for user uh, authentication. Uh, I, I've created um, this secret for user list using uh, this uh, using this user list file. As you can see, we have two uh, user password pair. Uh, one is Rakib and one is for Najmul. So let's apply it. So as you can see, that the Postgres are uh, running in the TV namespace and it's in the ready state. So let's apply the PG Bouncer. As you can see, it's uh, already provisioning. So in the meantime, uh, I'm going to extract into the Postgres part. Here, as you can see, there's a database uh, where, um, with, the, with the login permission for Rakip. And as you can see, our PG monster is in the radius step. Let's exact into the port. Here, as you can see, we have successfully logged into the test database and let's create something, let's create something inside this database. As, as you can see, we have uh, successfully created a table and let's see uh, if it's in uh, Postgres also. As you can see, um, uh, the data uh, demo table has been shown here. And 
Um, here is one more thing. Let's say if you want to modify the configuration file, uh, suppose you want to add another admin here. So suppose uh, if, you, if you want to add Najmul as an admin, Um, there's a right. So let's see if the configuration file is modified or not. Uh, it will take uh, some seconds to be modified. As you can see here in the admin user, Nazmul has been edited. And if we try to log in in the PG Bouncer database as an admin, As you can see, we have successfully logged into the PG Bouncer database. So this was the PG Bouncer clustering. So let's see uh, the TLS configuration for uh, for and for this poses server here. And the this uh, the server of poses uh, the name of the server is. Uh, TLSPG, which is running the TV2 namespace. And we are here using the Postgres uh, version 13.2, which also has uh, three replicas. And here in the uh, TLS uh, configuration, I'm using the SSL mode verify full. And here is the issuer reference here. Uh, I'm using a cluster issuer uh, for cross namespace. I'm using this cluster issuer uh, with the secret. And I am using the same uh, user list, uh, same user list uh, file for creating secrets. Here I have created a secret in the PG2 namespace DB user pass. And for this, uh, uh, for this PG answer, I've used this YAML here. And the name of the PG answer is PG answer TLS server, which is running in the PG2 namespace, and the version is 1.17.0. Uh, which uh, which has a three replica and uh, as before in the database section uh, i am giving the difference database reference here uh, the alias is tsdb and the database name is test and here's the server rep tlspg which is running the db2 namespace here is the connection to configuration here is the port default pool size pool mode mini pool size etc uh, here is the admin user rakip uh, here i am referring the secret db user pass and here uh, for TLS configuration, I'm using the SSL mode verify full. And I'm given the issuer ref here, the cluster issuer we have created earlier, uh, the PG Bouncer issuer. And here is the termination policy is wipe out. So let's apply it. So let's log into let's accept the Postgres spot.
as you can see, there is a test database with the login permission for Rakit. And uh, our PG Monster is ready to. So let's exact into the pod. So as you can see, uh, we have successfully uh, logged in to the test database. So let's create a table here. So as you can see, we have successfully created a table. So let's see, it's in the Postgres also. As you can see, uh, the table is here. And in this way, we can configure TLS for PG Monster. So that's all from me. And if you have any question, uh, uh, any feedback uh, regarding GiveDB PG Monster, you can feel free to ask. So thank you. Okay, uh, so yeah, so I have a question. Uh, so is there any kind of like a double opt-in feature that we implement for uh, connecting the databases, the backend databases? No. No, currently we don't have uh, that feature, but uh, in future we will have this. Okay, and uh, how many replicas of PG Bouncer can we run? Uh, you can use as, uh, as much as you, uh, you want. Um, okay. Uh, because there is no master slave uh, thing, uh, and you can you can just use it. And it supports all type of uh, Postgres configuration, correct? Like if we have a uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, clustered Postgres, it it will work with that. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so that's all from me, from me, my side.